Hello, my name is Ensi Fago and my university ID is 2126466 and I am the leader of Groups 8. Uh, the members of my group are Nisov, Nikita, Loman, Nidan and today I am demonstrating my Java application demo. Here now we have a login page and if the custom is not registered then I'll go directly to the registration page. Here the validation is already added, added and it is working perfectly and I'll go back to the login page and I'll just use one account. 20.0720 and I'll go to go to customer dashboard and here the customer will select the check-in date and the checkout date and the type of room they want okay I'll select one and I'll just request the room and we can just uh, see here the requested room and the booking status from here now I'll just log out from here and I'll go to receptionist dashboard and here I'll just allocate the room the requested by the customer and I'll just see the available room like double here the room number seven I'll just select it and I'll just confirm the room okay now I'll just check in the room or uh, checking the customer from here if the customer will arrive on the check-in date and I'll check if the customer will not arrive then I can cancel the booking here I have checked in and the customer is now active customer I'll just uh, give some services to customer like booking ID 71 I'll just keep the okay order now the item services is order now here they are the these are the crude operation of corporate uh, customer if the corporate customer want to modify their details and this for the many uh, regular customer and now I'll go to restaurant dashboard here and here is student dashboard here it will show the active customer booking ID and if we don't know the booking ID then we can search directly from the source bar here new limbo booking ID 71 and I'll just select some item and I'll calculate it and I'll order from here okay now I'll log out and I'll go to bar dashboard okay now I'll log in from here and here also in the same way the active customer will be shown here and we can source the customer by clicking here and I'll just select some item from here and I'll calculate it and I'll just order it the item is order now I'll go log out and I'll go to uh, corporate dashboard here I'll just enter the username and this is a corporate dashboard GUI I'll just select the check-in date for the corporate customer and I'll just check, check out date and I'll just select the type of room okay requested the room is requested now I'll just log out from here now I'll go to receptionist dashboard here and I'll just now I'll just uh, allocate the room for the corporate dashboard okay single type of room or room number four is single available now I'll just allocate it now I'll just go and I'll just manage check-in on from here I'll just check in the customer if the customer will arrive okay now the corporate is also an active customer and I can see from here the booking history of customer and also here I can source the customer detail just by clicking here their name I can just source it in this way and I can print their data also now I'll go to the view so customer and customer billing section here I can just click the customer detail and the bill is generated automatically and I can just generate the invoice also by clicking here and I can just print the invoice from here and I'll just select okay now I'll just rename it and I'll just save on my desktop now I can see the invoice by just clicking here and the invoice is generated already okay now I'll go to corporate billing section in the same way I'll just click there here and I'll just give the desired discount amount from there and now bill is generated uh, and now the total bill is generated and just say the billing status active and the bill is generated in the same way I have drink amount and food amount and service amount zero because I have not allocated them now I'll show you some of the codes uh, where I have used uh, the object oriented programming concept and for that I uh, in JDBC billing section uh, billing class I have used the extend database um, and this is example of inheritance where I have inherit the resource of database class okay now I have your billing uh, lives this is the middle uh, middleware part of my programming and here we have the instant variables and the default constructor and parameterized constructor which are the example of polymorphism and here in billing uh, GUI uh, here I have the main class billing GUI um, and inside this here we have uh, uh, variables and some of the methods are inside here and uh, which is an example of encapsulations and I have used the public classes here and, and this is example of abstractions uh, this was all about our Java programming uh, assignment uh, thank you